Once map data has been captured and embedded in a drawing, you can use grips to move, resize, and even rotate the image boundary. When you change the image boundary, the program automatically requeries the online map data and updates the image accordingly. You can also use tools to adjust the appearance of the embedded map data. On the Geolocation ribbon, in the Online Map panel, expand the Map Road Split button and choose Map Off so that the only map data you see is the embedded map image. Click the border of the embedded mapped image. The ribbon changes to the Map Image Contextual ribbon and you see grips at the corners of the embedded image. You can use the grips to move, resize, and even rotate the image boundary. When you change the image boundary, the program automatically requeries the online map and updates the image accordingly. For example, click the grip in the upper right corner and move it toward the upper right to enlarge the boundary. As soon as you do, the map image updates. The image does not resize, but rather the border expands to display more of the map imagery. Click to select the grip in the lower left corner, making it the hot grip. Then right click and choose Rotate from the shortcut menu. The program prompts you to specify the rotation angle. Type 3 and press Enter. Again, rather than rotating the map image, the border rotates and displays the underlying map imagery in the new area. Click to select the grip in the lower left corner again, and then right click and choose Move. The program prompts you to specify the move point. Click to move the image to the left. Again, rather than moving the image, the border moves and displays the underlying map imagery of that area. Every time you grip edit a map image, it fetches imagery from the online map service to fill the new area covered by the border. So you can only edit map images if you are signed into Autodesk 360. If you were to grip edit a map image while not connected to the internet, the map image goes blank. But as soon as you reconnect to Autodesk 360, the map image fetches fresh imagery from the online map service. Also, if you wish, you can lock the layer containing a map image so that you cannot delete it, move it, or resize it by accident. You can also use the tools on the Map Image Contextual ribbon to adjust the map image. When you expand the Map Style Split button, you can change the style of the embedded map image. For example, choose Map Hybrid. The program immediately fetches a new map image so that the embedded image now shows both aerial and road map data. Expand the Split button again and choose Map Aerial. You can also change the map image resolution. Click to expand the Map Image Resolution Split button. You can select the desired resolution. When you do, the program updates the map image by retrieving a higher or lower resolution image. Optimal is the default resolution. Choose Very Fine. Note that higher resolution images may not necessarily be the most recent satellite images. You can also adjust the brightness, contrast, and fade percentage to adjust the appearance of the map to make it easier to see the relevant drawing geometry. For example, change the fade value to 40%. Lastly, you can click Reload Image to update the image with the latest map imagery and optimize the resolution. When you click Reload Image, the program displays a Reload Map Image dialog. You can then choose whether you want to optimize and reload the image or simply reload it. Click Optimize and Reload.